Hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football and today's video is five things that we learnt from Manchester United's 3-0 win over Derby County in the round of 16 in the FA Cup. We now go on to play Norwich in the quarterfinals so it looks like we're most likely going to get to the semi-finals of the FA Cup this season. So this is five things you learnt from the game. It's a post-match reaction but before we get into this video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below to Alice Talks Football so you don't miss daily football and Manchester United related content from me and also comment your thoughts on the match down below. Now because we won 3-0 I'm going to keep it all to positives but I do have to say before I get into my five points that I did think we started a little slow and we did like waste a few passes and looked a little bit sloppy on the ball but once we scored we got going but I feel like before the goal we didn't get going that much but the first point is one matter I thought was excellent especially in the first sort of 60 minutes of the game I think he was I for me I, he was really good I think especially the first half it's his kind of game because Derby County when we're playing Derby County we have a lot of possession and matters really good when Man United have a lot of possession and he's got the chance to you know control the game keep it slow create chances while if we play a counter attacking game matter struggles and for me this was the perfect game to play one matter you know Oli got it right putting one matter on I also think for me he was really good in the first half he did drop off in the second half a little bit of stamina and stuff but you know with one matter if we're playing a possession game if we're playing a Burnley we're playing a Derby again that we're going to get a lot of possession and we can control the pace one matter is a good player to play but if we're going to play Man City I wouldn't play one matter and the second point kind of links to the first one and that is Bruno matter link up understanding now for me I think Bruno is a brilliant sign for Manchester United because we do like experience and intelligence in the squad and not in like a a bad way but our squad's so young that it, if you take out Mata and you take out uh, Pogba you've got you've got no one who knows their sort of runs to make and there was many times I saw Bruno like point and he'd be like make that run there you know and it's, he obviously Mata knows that already he doesn't have to point to make Mata make that run but with Lingard and other players he has to point and tell them to make that run and I thought that was really cool because we saw that Bruno's got leadership qualities intelligence and he, Bruno improves the side and I think today even though Bruno wasn't the most the biggest player on show it shows how he's improved the side because he's always pointing at like players to try and make those runs Bruno Fernandes still had a pretty good game as well like he didn't score or assist this game but he was still good I'm gonna read out his stats okay in 67 minutes that he played he completed 34 final third passes which was the most on the pitch attempted five crosses which was the most on the pitch and create the most chances on the pitch, which was four. So he was quite unlucky not to get an assist today. But, you know, him and Mata, I think, these kind of games, you can tell that their intelligence and their link-up. And I thought Mata was good. I thought Bruno was good. I thought Luke Shaw was good. I thought Garlo was good today. Now, the third point goes into Odeon Agarlo. I'm really happy that he got two goals. It would have been amazing if he got a hat trick. He's now got three goals to Manchester United. And I think this is really good for him, the player. We know that Agarlo can score, which is good. You know, there's been a few times where maybe he could have scored maybe four or five goals for us. But we know Ogalo can score. Now, I'm not saying he's brilliant or any of that. I'm not getting ahead of myself. But now ogalo has got three goals. It makes it, like, less of a risk to put him on. Do you know what I mean? Like, now we know he can score. Like, it, it gives us a little bit more options. Because, obviously, we're, sto we're slowly easing Ogalo in. Two starts, three goals. You know, he's, he's starting off well in his Man United career. Because, obviously, we had no expectation. We, you know, for all we knew, some of us probably thought he wouldn't even get a goal. So, you know, he's got three goals now. I know it's Derby County and Bruges that he scored against. But at the end of the day, Ogalo's slowly warming up into the squad. And I think him getting a goal is really good. Off point, which is kind of a negative, is I don't think Oli takes risk. I look at that Derby County lineup, and there's so many youth young players in there that wasn't actually Derby's strongest squad and I look at Man United's lineup and it's one of our strongest squads you know we rested Martial obviously Maguire was injured Wan Bissaka but it was pretty much a strong squad for us and I would have really liked to see Angel Gomez play and Bruno rested and also I'd love to see Fred rested because I think he's playing too much and I'm worried he's going to burn out in the Derby I would have given Jimmy Garner a game you know he's really doing well at um under levels I would have generally rested Bruno Fernandes and Fred today and I think that Oli even in small games is too scared to risk players and I think that's a little bit selfish of him but you know at the end of the day the risk paid off they didn't get injured hopefully well, I'm pretty sure they didn't get injured but yeah that's that's personally what I would have done I wouldn't have played Fred I would have given the youngsters a bit of a chance because I think as long as you get a few strong players around them we should have won anyway the fifth and final point was Luke Shaw excellent today assist a goal if he gets the goal Constantly driving forward, man of the match for me. This is consistency from Luke Shaw. Not just that he's excellent today, he's been excellent for the last month or two. Consistency, and I think Brandon Williams has 
the man. I think Brandon Williams has really given Luke Shaw a kick up the bum. And we're starting to see the Luke Shaw that we were hoping to get. And it gets a lot of criticism. But Luke Shaw, I thought he was brilliant today. And I'm also going to say, by Thirst Twist in the back for Man United. What are your thoughts on that? Let me know in the comments section down below. So that's five things we learned from Manchester United's 3 0 victory at Derby County. Your thoughts on the match? Comment them down below. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe down below to Alice Talks Football. She don't miss daily football related content from me. Thanks for watching. See you next time.